Almost since their invention, sugary drinks have been marketed as thirst quenching, delicious, and refreshing. More than ever. That's a classic. But what the ads don't reveal is that many of these products are like liquid candy, high in calories and devoid of nutrients, and that their overconsumption is linked to the obesity crisis we face today. One of the important things in addressing weight issues and trying to get healthy changes is just to look at where the problems are, and one of the problems is in the sugary beverages. That's why it's never been more important to educate children, parents, and all of the people who influence families about healthy habits, including the liquids they drink. The temptation is out there, and it's time for a reality check. The reduction of the sugary sodas led us to the natural questions about what's inside the can of soda that we, uh, you know, could be harmful or, or contributing to the problem of obesity and diabetes. Nemours Health and Prevention Services is in the behavior change business. We want to see our culture transform to one where children and adults are active and healthy and making good choices about what they eat and drink. We want you to be healthy. We're worried about the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure at an early age. We're seeing teenagers like that where we never saw them before. Nemours has formed a broad partnership, not only with families, but with business, the media, government, nonprofits, education, and healthcare organizations to catalyze a movement that will bring about change in the way we value child health. This supplements and complements the patient care, research, and training programs of Nemours to encompass the whole child. I take a very proactive um, approach to making sure that we eat right and we exercise and there we cut out a lot of the sweets. It's really great to see that the parents are setting up a really good example for their kids so the parents are getting the message. To make behavior change happen people need clear and consistent health information delivered in a way they can understand. That's why Nemours created an easy to follow recipe for a healthy lifestyle called 521 Almost None. I think the 521 initiative has been the first focused effort to attack the problem of childhood obesity and, and diabetes along the way. 521 Almost None is five fruits or vegetables a day and we tell kids to eat as many different colors as they can. Two in the 521 Almost None is two hours or less in front of a screen and that can be TV, computer, handheld video games, video games on the TV, anything that involves a screen. One hour of exercise a day in the 521, the one is one hour of exercise a day, and that doesn't have to be continuous. That can be separated throughout the day into 10 and 15 minute segments. It also helps the two and the one really are tied in together. And the almost none, which is almost no sugary drinks, we recommend about one or two per week for kids. Nemours has taken a surround sound approach with 521 almost none reaching out to places where children spend their time child care community centers doctors offices and of course the home 521 almost none um, the impact it has had on our family is that we're healthier um, we eat much better in regards to fresh fruits and vegetables we do this because we understand that kids need to see hear and experience 521 almost none in many different ways and settings having the 521 you know the brochures the posters and other so they see the same message in more than one here in place that always helps when it's not just the doctor saying it in his exam room 521 message is great it's easy for the kids to understand it sums everything up very clearly um, how to exercise how to eat healthy and the kids get it. Let's look at almost none for a moment. Did you know that over the last 30 years, soft drink consumption has doubled for girls and tripled for boys? The average teenage uh, male uh, drinks uh, on the average two, two cans of soda a day and the average uh, female 1.4 cans of soda a day. And with appealing ad campaigns and bigger is better pricing and packaging, it's no wonder we were sold on soda. People usually understand, yes, yeah, soda has calories in it and somewhat to some extent but they don't think they have any clue about how much it is within the average can of soda there's 10 teaspoons of sugar 10 
It's not a good idea to drink soda because it has lots of sugar in it and it can make you gain lots and lots of weight. And did you know that if you did nothing else differently but add one 12 ounce soda to your diet every day, you would gain 15 pounds in a year? A wake up call? We think so. To help illustrate the almost none message, Nemours developed a demonstration of just how much sugar is in many of our popular soft drinks. I use the sugar demonstration to teach the kids. Um, I ask them to show me with a cup of sugar and a little teaspoon how much sugar they really think is in each of the drinks that they drink. And then they're shocked by how much sugar is in the, each of the drinks. One of the ones that always surprises them is lemonade and the pouch drinks. I think kids really don't understand how much sugar they're ingesting. This demo has been and continues to be shown to thousands of children and their families at schools, preschools, PTA meetings, health fairs, and more. The demonstration has certainly caught the attention of both print and electronic media across the region. A lot of regional news agencies have caught on to this story and have um, asked us for interviews about all of this information because it's really caught on. It's actually the soda is the, most. the most, Okay. followed by the lemonade, which is always a surprise to kids and parents alike. The sport drink is next. You're kidding. The iced tea and, and then the fruit, the fruit is punch. Less? Really? It is. There's actually this much sugar in the bottle of soda, oh my which is gosh. a full cup. Look at all full. that. That's a cup of sugar that your kids are drinking and probably a lot of you too at work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a lot of sugar. Just the general publicity in the last few years in the media about the obesity epidemic and how important that is to health has made a big difference in how receptive parents and children are to uh, working on it, making some changes. Doctors use it in their offices. Teachers use it in their classrooms. Parents and kids are getting the message. Now we do a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. I buy at least once a week or every other week. Today, Delaware Child Care Policy states that only one serving of 100% fruit juice may be offered daily and that only low-fat milk may be given to children over age 2. These regulations impact 54,000 children in child care statewide. By working together on wellness policies, Nemours and Delaware school districts have been able to reduce or eliminate the availability of sugary beverages on school campuses. We thought it was necessary to remove the machines if we truly believed that the 521 program was going to be our basis of making decisions about healthy lifestyles not only for our students but the staff members here in our school district. Together with our community partners, Nemours is making 521 Almost None come alive, extending information, education, and a call to action to the many people and places that influence children. I, I think anything that we can do within our school system to help our students be more successful in school and the way that they impact the community is a responsibility that we have. We do more things together as a family in regards to the exercise. Um, we're spending more quality time together. I think it has impacted our family tremendously. The change only works if everybody in the family does it together. It's a very simple message, five to one, almost none. It's easy to remember and I love teaching it. Five, two, one, almost none, striving to make Delaware's kids the healthiest in the nation.